Hey there, boss. Good afternoon, Mr. Knox. Uh, I'm Ryan. How goes the day? Uh, pretty good. Just, uh, just closed a couple of sales. Ah, very nice. Um, ec- excuse me, boss. Yes, Mr. Knox. What's that there in the, uh, water cooler? Oh, that's Frank. What? He was having some obedience issues, really slacking off. That kind of behavior can't be tolerated in the workplace, you know. <laughs> you're, you're not serious, right? I mean, you, you couldn't actually fit someone in there. Of course not. Don't be silly, Mr. Knox. No. <laughs> yeah, thank God. For, for a second, I, I actually thought you maybe... It's just his head. Yeah. Huh? I piled the rest of them behind the CEO's car. I hate him, too. But I'm pretty sure he's got bodyguards or something. Wow. Well, I, I think I need to report this. Mr. Knox, it's almost Christmas. Relax. Enjoy the weather. Smell the nog. Well, uh, it, it is the holidays, and I respect you as my boss, but I'm, I'm pretty sure I need to call the cops. Can't let you do that, Mr. Knox. I'm not... Have you been calling me that just so you can make that joke? I have a hairdryer. Step away from the water cooler. All right, all right, sir. Just just calm down. You're, you're obviously under a lot of holiday stress. Have you ever been betrayed by your employees? It's like buying a new rifle and then accidentally shooting shooting yourself in the leg. I, I don't think it's like that at all. I see how it is. Only fending for yourself. You don't care about me or this company. No, no. Just desperately trying to follow this conversation. You know what? You're right. This is getting a little out of control. Let's just take a moment to breathe. Hello, sir. Good to see you, Phil. How's the family? Yeah, doing good. Yeah, just just got back from a trip to um, uh, uh, um, boss. Yes, Phil. What's uh, what's in the water there? Oh, Phil, I wish you hadn't said that. 